what's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome back to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today I have another Japan unboxing. These are all merchandise items that I have found in Japan and had shipped here. Now if you ever have questions about how to order these items from international stores, then definitely hit me up on Instagram. I usually have some way to get those items here in the USA. Let's go ahead and get started and while I'm going through these products, I will also let you know where I got them from and I'll also give you any kind of pricing if these items are still available. Let's go ahead and get started with my first big brown box. I know exactly what these are because they just came in the mail and I am super excited to add them to my new character collection. We have a pair of cushions on top and if you recognize these then you know exactly what these are. There's like three boxes on these two characters. Whenever you order brand new items from places like Premium Bandai or Tamashi Nations, they usually have some kind of tissue paper wrapped around the box itself, which is excellent for collectors, unless you are a collector like me who likes to remove things from the box. So today I'm unboxing these two to show you them face to face. These two girls are the Bandai Namco lookup figures from Mega House. The newest ones in the collection currently are Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Venus. Even though the window boxes for these are really adorable, I do like to take them out of the box to conserve some space in my collection room. I do appreciate how protected these cute little characters are. They have plenty of plastic molding around them to protect them, as well as some plastic covers. Now their heads do pop off, so you can easily remove them to remove this piece of plastic, and then you pop them right back on. Okay, let's take a close up of both of these lookup figures. So first we have Sailor Jupiter right here. You can move them a little bit, so they are slightly poseable. They have very, very cute faces, and they're supposed to sit on a computer desk for example or a table and look up at you super super cute really big heads they obviously have a very chibi figure to them and if you ordered these from premium bandai they also came with a couple of limited edition little cushions for them to sit on so there's sailor jupiter and then we also have eternal sailor venus and she also looks super adorable look at her cute little bow and her hair adorable i love them and here is her limited edition cushion i do really appreciate the gradient that you see in the color for these cushions that adds just a little bit of a feature i like that very pretty nice little detail. So originally I was not going to purchase these, but I saw that full boxes were available at retail still, and I went ahead and purchased them. <laughs> these are little finger puppets, and this full box includes all 10 of them. Oh, how many are actually in here? That's the question though. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, so I don't think there will be any doubles in this little collection, but what do you say? Let's go ahead and open them and see if I got any doubles, which I don't think I was supposed to, because on the front there's a sticker that says this box contains a full set. Now you'll notice that these little finger puppets all of them are blind bagged and I can tell immediately from the blind bags that they must have a little bit of cardboard wrapped around them so it would be very hard to figure out which one is which if you were purchasing them one by one. These are the Sailor Moon Cosmos Sof V Puppet Mascots. And here you can see we have all of the Sailor Guardians, including Princess Serenity and Princess Chibiusa, or Small Lady Serenity. Since these are their princess outfits, that was the main reason I wanted to get these. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them all and let you know what I think. Okay, I have all of them unboxed, and honestly, these are way cuter in person than they looked online. So I'm pretty happy that I decided to purchase the full box, because these are gonna look so cute on display. Obviously, I'm not really gonna be running around using Using them as finger puppets. I don't know, maybe I will. That would be a little weird, but I'm I'm kind of a weird person, so that's something I would do. Actually, yeah. Um, you know the the finger hole is kind of big, so they they fall off pretty easily, but uh we're just going to um <laughs> I officially have princesses for fingers. Hmm, interesting. That's some weird like fallout stuff right there. Oh, let's take a look at these cuties. So here we have Sailor Venus. Obviously they do have holes 
on the bottom because they're puppets, <laughs> which is the weirdest thing, but they are very adorable. There's no shadowing detail or anything like that, so they have very, very matte coloring styles for them, but all of them have very cute details. Oh, she has a little bit of gold. She has a little bit of gold paint for her dress right there. A little bit of a difference. We have Sailor Moon, Princess Serenity, obviously. We have Sailor Saturn right there. We have Pluto, Princess Pluto. Princess Mercury. There's sick. Oh shoot, there goes Mercury. She just fell on the floor. Okay. <laughs> and then we have Uranus, Princess Small Lady, Serenity, and Princess Neptune. I would say all of them are quite adorable. Definitely gonna display these. Probably never use them as finger puppets. I can definitely list uh, these finger puppets as one of those weird weird things that I have purchased for my collection. <laughs> uh, one of the cute smaller items that's very usable that I decided to purchase was this mouse pad. This is from the Sailor Moon store and it features Usagi and Chibiusa, of course. This is obviously a small mouse pad. It's not a desk pad, which is what I usually use in my tech studio for my, my main job, but this is definitely a nice smaller mouse pad if you just need a small space for your mouse. It does have that rubber texture on the back, and when you do set it down, it curves a little bit based on how it was shipped, at least to me, but I have a feeling that once I set it down and put something something heavy on the top of it, that'll flatten it out just fine. A nice, simple mouse pad. I love it. I did grab a couple of 2024 calendars, which are still relevant to this day. The first one that I have here is made out of cardboard or a harder cardstock, such as the ones that you would get with greeting cards. This is the cardstock 2024 calendar. Now, if you have paid attention to the news and you know about the current Sailor Moon Museum, this is also using the same art as we have seen from the newest museum. So that is very, very similar art on there. But since for once in my collection life, I can actually use this for the current year, let's go ahead and take it out and check it out. So this is for a desktop, so you can set it on top of your desk like so. It has a little triangle formation. It sits really nice and steady, which I do appreciate. Let's check out each of the pages though. So these are actually not based from Moon all the way to the outer Sailor Guardians. This is actually based on the birthdays of the Sailor Guardians. So for example, Hotaru's birthday happens to be in January. So you see Hotaru as the first Sailor Guardian for this 2024 calendar. That's such a nice little addition for this calendar and something that I appreciate. So here we have Saturn. Of course, then we have Uranus. She is a February baby. Neptune, Sailor Mars for April. Now Chibiusa and Sailor Moon, they share the same birthday at the very end of June. So they just put Chibiusa on May. So here we have Chibiusa for May. Then we have Sailor Moon, this beautiful new art of Sailor Moon. Her birthday is on the very, very last day. So here we have her birthday right there. June 30th. Ah, that's interesting. Then we have all the Sailor Guardians for July, all the outer Sailor Guardians for August, Sailor Mercury for September, Sailor Venus, then we have Sailor Pluto for November, and Sailor Jupiter for December. Very cute. Can't wait to set this up on my actual office desk. I love it. That's awesome. This is the other calendar I got, which is an acrylic calendar. Now this one has multiple layers to it. There are all the Sailor Guardians in the back that you can see here. Then we have Eternal Sailor Moon and Sailor Chibi Moon and Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon on the front panel. And in the center is where you have your calendar and that includes a picture, an image of the Sailor Starlights. Let's go ahead and open this one too. This actually looks pretty easy to assemble. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it together now so you can at least be able to see it. So first we have that piece. There we go, Sailor Moon on the front. This piece goes in the center. So there's just three acrylic pieces, then you have the calendar portion. So this is the acrylic calendar itself. You have the front piece, 
the center piece, which I thought goes in the back, but it actually goes in the center. And here we have the actual calendar. So this one is not as descriptive. It doesn't flip through and have a bunch of dates or a bunch of information like holidays or birthdays on the different calendar dates. It only has the dates and the month on here. So if you wanna just display it as a display piece, you can leave the starlights on here instead of flipping through the different dates of the calendar itself. And since I have this really beautiful piece that I can use as a desk calendar, I'm probably just gonna leave this as is. Usually we get calendars and you don't really know what to do with them after you've used up the entirety of each of the months for the year. So it's kind of nice to have an acrylic stand that also doubles as a calendar because it displays the starlights right there, the sailor starlights. So I, I like that it doesn't just like leave a gaping hole at the end of the year. Instead of having like the calendar there, you actually have something that looks like a full piece. This is just a very simple clear file which features Sailor Moon Cosmos. It has the movie title on the back of it and then the front features a bunch of images from the newest movie. Also for Sailor Moon Cosmos, this is something that I was very much looking forward to. This is actually a postcard set. So let's go ahead and open this and I wanna show you all the postcards. I love these postcard sets because these books Booklets just look beautiful on their own. They're beautiful display pieces. Uh, this one does have an obi around it. So this is the obi at the bottom right here. And if I remove that obi, oh, so if you remove the obi, it just doesn't have any text down there at the bottom. Oh, that's the book itself. That's really cute. So it's simple white with a couple of silhouettes and the back has the inner Sailor Guardian silhouettes. Cute. And then we have the postcards. Ooh, I did not realize that these would be really pretty foil postcards cards that looks like a trading card how pretty so here we have eternal sailor moon oh this one is not foil so it looks like just the front one maybe the inner guardians and these are usable they are perforated so you can remove them and use them if you wanted to i'm gonna keep them in the book because i think the book is really pretty it's like a little picture book we have the outer guardians some images from the movie <laughs> Ooh, princess kakyu nice surprise all the kitties we love them eternal sailor moon transformation oh there's another foil one that's really pretty Oh, another foil one, Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon, the three lights. Very pretty. These are cute little pieces of art. I like those a lot. More screenshots from the movies. I think most of these are gonna be screenshots. The chibi characters, very cute. The sailor stars. Ooh, that one's pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that foil, wow. Wouldn't that be cool if we had a big poster of this image? Oh man, I would totally hang that up. And that's it. Okay, those are all the postcards for the postcard book. The postcard book is actually a relatively good price given that you get so many postcards in the booklet itself. And usually postcards by themselves are like one to four dollars depending on where you buy them. This is 1980 yen. And that is retail without shipping. Okay, I did get some bags because I like bags. I use a lot of bags, I like bags a lot. Most of these were from the fan club. A couple of them were from the Sailor Moon store. This is the first bag I got, which features very cute manga chibi characters for each of the Sailor Guardians. Then we have Sailor Chibi Moon on the back. Very cute. This is based on some old Nakayoshi art. Just a very simple like coin pouch. I like that a lot. Very useful if you're going to Japan, you get a lot of coins. This was also available on the fan club, the Japanese fan club. And this one features a really, really beautiful manga illustration of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. But that's not all. The back of this doubles as a little tissue holder or like a wet wipe holder. So this is really useful. I love that it doubles as something that I can actually use. Like I could put sanitizer wipe in here. I think that's so useful. So you just hold that open and it snaps closed and you can put your wipes inside of here by opening up the back pouch. And luckily the back pouch does have a specific space for those sanitary wipes. So you can also put other stuff back there too. There's a second zipper as well on the front side, which is a little bit smaller, but you can also fit things in there. I can see how this would be extremely useful. For example, if you had kids, you could put their little diaper wipes in here. That would be such a useful item if you had like little 
a little toddler. Which I most definitely don't, but I can see where it would be very helpful. I love this wallet. I picked it up from the Sailor Moon store. This does feature Usagi and Shibuya on it. Very similar art to what we have seen previously. It has a little heart on the zipper, which I also appreciate. And I like that pearlescent color. So it's not just a plain beige. It's actually got some shimmer to it. So it's like a beigey pearlescent color. This is a very simple wallet. It just folds into a dual sided wallet. There is a space over here for coins, which I, again, very much appreciate. Plenty of room if you want to put some bills back there and then plenty of room for IDs and for additional cards, credit cards. What a great little wallet and it was fairly inexpensive. So this is a really good piece that I could actually use every day. Last for my bags is this matching window pouch, which I thought was so cute. Kind of a shame that the window pouch has the window image at the very back of the pouch. So once you fill it up with stuff, you're gonna cover up that image. Something that wasn't very clear online when I ordered this and a, a bit of a disappointment, I will be honest about that. But the image is very clear. I do think the pouch itself is very pretty, but if I was to put anything in here, it would probably be something that I wanted to display, like a cute little plushie or something like that. I don't think I would actually use this every day. I do appreciate though that it's the same art that we got on the wallet, so you can tell that it was from the same line. Okay, y'all know I love my pins, so I had to get this pin to add it to my collection, which honestly my collection is huge now. Can't wait to show you that wall. Yes, it's a complete wall. Here we have a beautiful six anniversary Sailor Moon store pin. I do have a couple of extras of these on my sales Instagram page, but these are very simple. They have two posts on the back, which is great so it won't flip around on you. And the front of it, the art on here is very, very detailed. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, so I'll try to zoom in. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon down at the bottom and it has this wonderful print of all of the inner sailor guardians very very pretty and quite a heavy little pin too so you can tell that it's nice and thick metal so it's not super super cheap i also absolutely adore anything that has the mirror from sailor moon supers on it so these two feature the special dream mirror here we have this lovely ring shaped into a dream mirror which i thought was such a cool piece and designed so well it's really pretty it's like a rose gold color but i it's not going to be real gold. This thing was way too inexpensive to be real gold. And here we have a matching necklace, which also features the dream mirror on this beautiful rose gold chain. And it's very, very pretty. So this is something that I would totally wear with a Sailor Moon outfit. I wonder if anybody would actually know what it was. If I wore that out and about, would you get that reference? I know I would. I'm such a nerd. I would totally get it. <laughs> Can badges. Wonderful item for your Ida bags, but this is a can badge from the sixth anniversary of the Sailor Moon store. I cannot believe that place opened six years ago. That means that I went to Japan six years ago for one of the first times because it opened up during the time that I was there, which was so cool. It was like they knew I was gonna be out there and they were like, let's open that store. Obviously that's not the case, but it would have been pretty cool. I've been trying to collect Sailor Cosmos items as they come out. Pretty much anything that involves Sailor Cosmos that is licensed, I've tried to get. So in this case, we had a whole line of items that came out at the Sailor Moon store, including this very cute little notebook, which features Sailor Cosmos on the front with this silver printing. It is a lined notebook, very simple, but great for taking notes, especially if I go to conventions. Very, very useful. I also got a matching pen. This beautiful Sailor Cosmos stained glass keychain was just gorgeous and so hard to get online. So I was very excited when I was able to purchase one. And I also picked up this beautiful acrylic stand of Sailor Cosmos. Uh, it's really big. It's quite tall and it features a gorgeous image of Sailor Cosmos from the most recent movies. There is a little bitty stand for her to stand up on and then we have the full length image of Sailor Cosmos right there. Very, very pretty. Now through the years, I have been collecting any of the limited release watches that I've been seeing release online. I really like my collection of Sailor Moon watches. All of them are designed with really interesting details and all of them have really, really cute little features. So I love collecting these. This is the newest one that I've gotten. It is the Sailor Moon Store sixth anniversary watch. It comes in a very cute box which has Sailor Moon's bedspread all over it on all sides. Really cute box. 
Oh, I'm so happy to see that it's still working. I don't have to change the batteries out yet. So this is the newest watch that we have gotten. This also features Sailor Moon's bedspread image. So it has a little bunny charm, a star, and a moon in there. Those are kind of shaking around, so they're little charms that can move. Behind those, we have kind of a back plate that has a bunch of pink glitter. So it is kind of hard to see the actual face unless it's glinting in some kind of light, so you get some reflection off of that gold. But if I'm wearing this, I'm probably not really actually using it as a watch. I'm probably not looking at the time very often because I have a smartphone, don't we all? The outside of this feels like plastic. It's kind of see-through and it has this beautiful glitter. And this is a lovely strap. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if this strap is removable, but man, if it was, if I could remove this and put it on one of my like smartwatches, I totally would. What a cute strap. I love this. This is a really, really cute watch. I am so excited to wear this. I can't wait. Now, all of the Sailor Moon store watches also include a print on the back that tells you what number you received. Uh, sorry if you hear a bird outside, nothing I can do about that. There's a bird next to my house. He's probably building a nest, which is totally fine with me. So on the back of this Sailor Moon store watch, I got number 222. Cool. Now what is this item? Is this another watch? I don't remember what this item is. I don't recall what I had purchased. <laughs> oh, I think it is a watch. Which one did I get? Oh, that's pretty. This is a very, very nice looking watch. The battery's dead, so I must have had it for a while. Wicca is not only one of my favorite words, but it's also a really beautiful brand in Japan that does a lot of very high quality watches. This newest watch is from the Sailor Moon Cosmos branding. So we have the Sailor Moon Cosmos movie branding. This comes in a beautiful white box. And here we have the watch. They always include a few extra little watch strap brackets. So you can add those if you need to add extra spacing on yours. But let's go ahead and look at the watch itself. So you'll notice when I put this in the reflection of my lights, the numbers around here are holographic. They're rainbowy as opposed to just simple silver. I love that. Very pretty. There's also a teeny tiny little gemstone right in the middle of the crescent moon up at the top. And there's also a little crescent moon on one of the hands as that moves around. So you see that teeny tiny little crescent moon right there. I also believe that each of these are little itty bitty gemstones next to the numbers. That's really cool. This is a very beautiful watch. It's very simplistic. If you were wearing this out, nobody would ever know that you were a Sailor Moon fan. Now, I know I showed you a few coupon items in my last video, but I wanted to show you this one as well. This is just a very simple keychain which features Artemis. So this is like a bag charm, key holder, keychain, whatever you want to call it. This one basically looks like meringue and it's shaped into the shape of a silhouette of Artemis. It's very, very cute. I love the pink bow at the top and I love that he's holding a little heart. Now, even though this is shaped like frosting or meringue, do not eat these. They're actually just made out of a simple like rubbery, rubbery material. I don't know exactly what the material is, but every single one of Cupot's items feature the same kind of material. This is a new wallet. I love collecting these Nishijin wallets from Japan because they are all absolutely stunning. So let's take a look at this newest one. They all come with dust bags. Very, very nice. This one has a little charm that you can add to your wallet. This features a crescent moon, little itty bitty charm hanging down from the crescent moon and a little silhouette of, I'm gonna assume that's Luna. Wow, this looks very dressy. Love it. So here we have the newest Nishijin wallet. This one has a really beautiful silk, almost like a filigree design to it or a lace design to it. It's not actually lace. It's all just one piece of this beautiful like silken material. The back of it, you can really, really see that filigree design on it when I glint it in my lighting. I love that there's a little gemstone on the crescent moon right there. And we also have in gold thread, all of the different planetary symbols. The interior of all of these wallets that I get from Nishijin are pretty simplistic. They just have a bunch of space for cards 
This one is a light pink color and the center design always has a little pocket for, for your coins. I'm not a huge fan of this little zipper here. It feels really weird and awkward. <laughs> now the last thing I wanted to show you for today's video is the Sailor Moon Cosmos Blu-ray from Japan. It's the first print limited edition version of the Sailor Moon Blu-ray for Sailor Moon Cosmos, as well as the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon renewal items. So first we have the Sailor Moon Cosmos limited edition Blu-ray. I am so excited to own this because Sailor Moon Cosmos has not released here in the US in any kind of licensed format. Now, if you know of means, there are definitely ways that you can watch it online. There are also fan subs already, uh, which I truly appreciate since Toei hasn't released it over here with Viz Media. Come on, Viz, hurry up. Get the voice actors in there. We wanna see this movie with subtitles and dubs in a licensed format and we will buy that one too or we will purchase the streaming membership if we need to. Ugh, so frustrating. But for now, we have the Japanese version of the movies without any kind of English subtitles or dubs. So this comes in a beautiful, it almost looks the same exact size as a vinyl print, for example. But on the front of this, we have the beautiful poster image art from the movie. The back of it features all of the guardians. We have all those guardians, including Tuxedo Mask. The binding of this says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Cosmos, the movie, and that is going to be on both sides too. This is a beautiful full art illustration that is on a matte cover. When you take the actual envelope out of the slip cover, on the back we have all the guardians again, and this tells you what's included. So on disc one, we have Sailor Moon Cosmos, the movie, part one and two. On disc two, there's bonus footage, all your bonus extras. And on disc three and four, we have the original soundtrack. So you also get all the music from the movie if you order one of these limited edition ones. On the front cover, you have the same listing of all the discs. You also get this booklet. I'll show you the booklet. This OB was actually covering the disc itself, but I put the OB inside of the envelope so I wouldn't destroy it, wouldn't damage it. But this OB features the movie information, what's included on the discs, and it also goes into a little bit more description about each of the discs. And here are the discs. I am curious, what's behind them? Pretty. We have a nice screenshot from the movie. Here we have the Eternal Tiare. Beautiful. On the bonus footage disc behind that, we have Sailor Cosmos. Then we have the two soundtrack discs. Spoilers. I mean, at this point, the movie's been out in Japan for a long time, so... I do apologize if you are spoiled by any of this, but it has been out for a while. If you haven't seen it yet, I can help you with that because I have two more copies of this that are available on my sales page. Okay, let's take a look at the booklet that comes with the Sailor Moon Cosmos limited edition Blu-ray. Ooh, that's pretty. So we have this front image right here, the Ginzui Show. We have some character art. I'm sure this also tells us about who did the voice acting. I would hope so. Beautiful illustrations of all of our Sailor Guardians, all the enemies, and then we have, oh lovely, some interviews, which I assume, yes, cast comments. So these are interviews with the voice actors from the movies. I love that they included all the Guardians instead of just focusing on one. Ooh, key animation gallery, that's really cool. These are like similar to some of the images you would see at the Sailor Moon Museum. How adorable. I really appreciate when we get Blu-rays like this that come with additional bonus items like these. Even though these interviews are in Japanese, I know that I can easily translate them. It'll take me some time if I'm doing it by memory or I can just use Google Translate and lots and lots of contextual clues because we all know Google Translate is not perfect. Original soundtrack. So here we have what comes on those two soundtrack discs. Wow, that is a lot of background music. That's it. That's everything for the booklet. Cool. I'm so happy that I own this. I'm really excited. Well, now that we're nearing the end of this video, I think it's time to remind everybody to subscribe and make sure to comment below if you have any questions about any of these items that I have shown you today on my mess of a table. This is gonna be a lot to organize and clean up after I record my videos today. But of course, do not forget to subscribe as well because if you love Sailor Moon as much as I do, then this is the place to be. I will teach you how to order all these things. I have done news videos ever since I started this channel. And I also post vlogs from Japan whenever I go to specific Sailor Moon events. Am I obsessed? 
Yes, yes I am. Let's look at the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Fan Club renewal items from 2023 slash 2024. First, we have this beautiful reprint of some Nakayoshi stickers. So originally there are some vintage stickers that look just like these, but we've been getting beautiful reprints of a lot of those older items which is great because I don't have to focus on buying them as much from Mandrake anymore. I can save myself some money and just get them through the membership now, which does cost around 60 bucks, so there is that. Another item that was released way back in the day, but we got a reprint of it, is this beautiful little bag. This is like a shopping bag. It's the same kind of material like a shopping bag that you would get at the mall. This one features this beautiful print of Sailor Moon on the front, and then we have Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon on the back. I love it. Now, I do believe that I I have one of the vintage versions of this bag, but I don't have one that is in this nice high quality condition. So it's nice to have a new one that is in much better condition. <laughs> As I was renovating this room, I thought that I had lost this item and I had no idea where it was. Turns out it was at the bottom of this box that I had yet to do a video on. So I'm glad that I found it and I'm glad that I can show you this today. Every single fan club year, if you sign up with the membership, you also get some kind of really pretty piece of jewelry jewelry or an accessory. This year we got this really beautiful piece of jewelry. They always come in these really pretty boxes that have the fan club logo on the front of them. This one features silver foil on a yellow box. And here is our beautiful accessory pen. I do want to take this out because I want to look at the details so you can look at it with me. Now I believe this is the kind of pen that you could for example put on the front of a jacket, on the front of a dress, a blazer, something like that because it's very very long. So at the top of it, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty dense, I would say. We have some pink details for this eternal tiara, Sailor Moon's beautiful eternal wand. On the back of it, it does say Naoko Takeuchi. And then we have this long portion, which can be used as the pin. So if you take that off, it has kind of a sharp end to it, which you can use to feed it through clothing that you don't mind sticking a hole in. So I'm just going to leave that on and keep it in the box for now until I have a reason to wear it. That's really, really pretty. So that is everything everything that I have pre-ordered or recently ordered from online Japanese retailers, including mostly the Sailor Moon store and the Pretty Guardian fan club. Again, if you have any questions about these, do not forget to comment down below. I'm always more than happy to share that information with you. And if there's anything in particular that is super hard to get here in the US, sometimes I do have a means or a way to order it online myself. So definitely hit up my Sailor Snubs sales Instagram page and and my regular Sailor Snubs account for news and miniature reviews as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Jenny.